Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In this tutorial, we will understand how to set up Kafka in our local machine. Apart from Kafka, we will also install all required tools which will help in our Kafka development course. Okay, alright. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we install Kafka, let me tell you that we have different kind of Kafka server available in market with different type of flavor like Apache Kafka which is open source, commercial distribution, managed Kafka service. So let me give you some heads up about above 3 Kafka flavor so that you can able to understand which Kafka service need to choose based on the situation or based on the scenario. Okay. So the first one is open source version of Apache Kafka. This you can easily download from Apache portal and then you can install and use it. In case if you face any operational issue or open bug on Kafka, then you need to manage it by your own or you might need to upgrade if needed. So maximum company still use this open source with proper infrastructure setup and also they have dedicated developers or experts to handle any kind of infra related issue. So the second one is the commercial distribution that comes with a lot of tools and utility to perform your day to day Kafka operation. This will add cost to your organization or to the project and Confluent Kafka is one of the best commercial distribution to use which simplifies connecting data source to the Kafka, building streaming application as well as securing monitoring and managing your Kafka infra. So today, if you will observe, Confluent platform is used for a wide array of use case across numerous industries. And Confluent Kafka also provide a community edition for developers which is completely free. Don't worry, I will show you how to use the community edition of Confluent Kafka. Next is managed Kafka service. This comes with everything you need. You just create instance as per required configuration. Let everything managed by the Kafka provider. All infrastructure will be ready for you and it really easy to scale when needed as similar as cloud infra. So Amazon MSK and Confluent are best managed Kafka service provider to use. So based on the project requirement and budget availability, you need to decide which Kafka service need to choose. Okay, but as part of this course, we will use the open source Apache Kafka, but don't worry, I will also demonstrate how to use the community edition of Kafka Confluent. Okay, so let's begin with the installation steps. So I will walk you through the steps to install Apache Kafka, which is open source. Also, we will install the community edition of Confluent Kafka. Then at the end, we will install Kafka Offset Explorer, which will help us to monitor our Kafka messaging system. Okay, so let's begin with the first one that is installation of Apache Kafka. So we are going to download the open source of Apache Kafka. So for that go to the Chrome browser and then you can search here Kafka. Go to the official page of Apache Kafka. Then you can find the option to the download. Click on download Kafka. So the latest version you can find your 3.4.0. Okay. So you can download any of them. This is the binary distribution. So let me click on the first one. The file size is 102 MB. So it will take few seconds to download. So once the download will be completed, go to that particular folder. So you need to extract this particular folder. You can see here the version we downloaded 3.4.0. Now go inside this particular folder. You can find bin, config, libs, license and site docs. Okay. So inside the bin, you will find all the cell script file for Mac and all the batch file for Windows. So if I will open this, you can see here all the .sh extension is being used for the Linux or Mac operating system. And in the Windows, you can find the .batch file 
to start the zookeeper or to start the kafka server or to start the topic or to create the topic all the things whatever we have discussed before you can play by executing this batch file or by executing the cell script file so once you will download the binary distribution you will find the support for both operating system this is for windows and this cell script is for mac or linux okay and if you go inside the config it contains the properties file okay so you can see here server dot properties which holds the kafka properties specification and you can see here zookeeper dot properties okay so these are the properties file you will understand once you will play with those properties file now if you will go here inside the leaves there are couple of jar that's it okay you just need to download this binary distribution then all set in upcoming session i will show you how you can play with the kafka component by executing this script okay so let's move to the next one that community edition of confluent kafka okay so to install the confluent kafka what you can do you can go to the confluent.io then you can click on get started free and you want to install the software which is community edition of confluent kafka we don't want any managed kafka service so navigate the tab to the softwares next you can fill this form and then just acknowledge these two click on start free here we go so if you observe here there is a local install confluent platform on a single local machine by using zip or tar archive or docker images so we don't need this what do we need we need the community edition okay there is something called distributed confluent for kubernetes and there are few more so we need to focus on this community which is completely free so you can see here use it for free forever okay so we want to install the zip or we just want to download the zip just click on this download this is the size 466 mb okay so let's wait it to complete so once it downloaded just show in the folder and again you need to extract this you can see this right the latest version of community edition of confluent kafka is 7.3.2 fine now go inside this particular folder you can find the same structure that is bin and you can find the file which is the cell script for mac and linux and for windows you can file this batch file okay and if we'll move further inside this etc as i already mentioned once you are playing with the confluent kafka apart from kafka you will find lot of utility when i say utility you will find kafka rest ksql db rest utils schema registry so we will understand about this particular utility in our upcoming session okay now if you will go inside the kafka you will find the properties file okay so whatever files you downloaded through the apache kafka open source and confluent each file is similar only the structure is changed so let me compare this so that it will be easy for you to understand okay let me open the kafka and meanwhile i will open the another window for confluent kafka okay now let me so this is the kafka and this is the confluent kafka folder now if we'll compare these two folder if we'll go inside bin you will find the script file and windows file and again if you'll go inside this you'll find the same okay now if you'll go back and if you'll check about the config you'll find all the properties file but in confluent kafka since it supports for multiple utility methods inside the etc you will find a folder called kafka inside that kafka you can find the properties okay and these are the utility fine this is the only structure changed you will find between these two kafka and confluent kafka okay so as i mentioned i will just show you 
how you can play with both okay that is my next session i will just demonstrate using the command line interface how we can play with all the kafka component in open source apache kafka and in confluent kafka fine now the next we need to install the kafka offset explorer to monitor our kafka messaging system so what you can do for that go to the chrome and just search here kafka offset explorer the first link you can find something called kafka tool okay so just open this link and then let me zoom this for you you can see here right offset explorer this is the kafka tool is a gui application for managing and using apache kafka cluster okay so just click on the download you will find the option to download for windows and mac so download based on your operating system so since i am using the mac i'll download this particular mac os so the size will be 60.2 mb so once it will be download you just need to double click to install it okay so let's wait it to complete so it downloaded just so in the folder and you just need to double click on it okay so that it will be installed to your machine drag and drop i have already installed it so it is asking me whether you want to replace or you want to keep the both so i will just stop for now okay because already i installed it so i will also remove for now fine so this is what about the installation steps in my coming tutorial i will show you how you can play with the kafka component using the command line interface will create the consumer and producer will publish the event to the topic and will add the partition and will show the various type of behavior in this particular producer and consumer flow okay that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept